35-year-old woman was brought to your clinic after falling from a ladder. She landed on an outstretched right hand and immediately reported intense pain in her right forearm and elbow. Her vital signs record a pulse of 110 per minute, respirations at 22, and blood pressure at 100 over 60. Upon physical examination, there was tenderness and swelling over the lateral aspect of her right elbow. Her radial pulse in the affected arm was slightly weakened, but sensation remained intact. Her hand exhibited normal coloration, and capillary refill was less than two seconds. A notable finding was that she experienced heightened pain when attempting to pronate or supinate her forearm. An X-ray of the forearm and elbow, however, did not reveal any clear fracture lines. Based on this information, what do you believe is the most likely diagnosis for this patient? The correct answer is a proximal radius fracture, also known as a radial head fracture. This type of injury often occurs from falls onto an outstretched hand, with the force of the fall primarily impacting the radial head. This results in pain localized at the elbow's lateral aspect, swelling, and difficulty with pronating and supinating the forearm. The patient's heightened pain during forearm rotation is explained by the role of the radial head and proximal radio-ulnar joint in controlling this movement. The absence of clear fracture lines on the initial X-ray is not uncommon in radial head fractures, as these fractures can often be occult. They may present an anterior fat pad sign on the X-ray, which indicates joint effusion or hemarthrosis. By contrast, an olecranon fracture would typically present with a prominent step-off deformity at the elbow and an inability to extend the elbow. A mid-shaft radius fracture usually occurs from direct trauma or a fall on an outstretched hand. It often results in a visible forearm deformity and clear X-ray evidence, both absent in this case. A distal humerus fracture often associated with more significant trauma would cause severe elbow pain, swelling, and an inability to move the elbow. Pain from this type of fracture is not typically exacerbated by pronation or supination. Lastly, a proximal ulna fracture usually results from a direct blow to the elbow and wouldn't specifically cause pain with forearm rotation. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic, which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology, from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members, exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one, for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for a free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like forever.